You did issue um, a statement in re on behalf of the governor regarding um, what's with the recent allegations. Can you uh, tell us the statement that you gave to us? Okay, on July 4, 2023, a grand jury returned two indictments against officials and employees of the Department of Public Health and Social Services and the Guam Regional Transit Authority. The public health indictment alleges several charges, the most serious of which is tampering with public records on the basis that the Department of Public Health and Social Services issued sanitary permits to public schools without inspections with the alleged intent to defraud or injure others. The Guam Regional Transit Authority indictment likewise alleges several charges, the most serious of which are theft by deception and theft by complicity on the basis that Guam Regional Transit Authority employees are employed an interim executive manager on a temporary basis who did not have a college degree, a legal requirement for the permanent executive manager position. The Office of the Attorney General is seeking criminal penalties against these officials, including incarceration. These indictments are only accusations and do not constitute actual proof of wrongdoing. For this reason, these individuals will continue to serve in their current capacities pending resolution of their cases. While we cannot comment on specific allegations, we are confident that our courts will ensure a fair outcome and that justice will ultimately prevail. Whatever that justice looks like, it will now play out before a Superior Court of Guam judge. When indictment naming former Guam Regional Transit Authority Interim Executive Manager Richard Ibanez for being placed in a position he was unqualified for, along with four others involved in Ibanez's hiring. Did the governor know when appointing him, was he qualified to even hold the position whether interim or not? For Guam Regional Transit Authority Interim Director at the time, Richard Ibanez, Richard Ibanez, that was Governor Leon Guerrero's recommendation as an interim manager, simply an interim manager. Now, even though it's an interim position and he was an interim manager, but did she know, and if so, why did she still recommend him, you know, for that position, even if it's an interim, because he's, he was still upholding that position for a, a while. I cannot comment further on that. It was Governor Lou Leon Guerrero who made the recommendation in January 2022, before the board members officially voted in favor of Ibanez. The second indictment names Public Health Director Art St. Augustine and the department's chief inspector, alleging they signed off on inspection reports for three schools. Inspections that prosecutors alleged never happened. Should our parents be concerned that the public schools haven't been inspected? Government of Guam employees continue to do their best work to serve the people of Guam. It's unfortunate that these allegations are looming over our our employees. Again, we continue to do our best work for the people of Guam and that includes the students of our island. So what's going to be the actions moving forward even with these allegations looming? What's the actions moving forward? Because I know that the school inspections are still ongoing right now and you know, um, even one of the schools already confirmed by our superintendent that they won't even be returning to that campus and there's still discussion of where they're going to be located. I'll defer to public health and their processes, especially with the Division of Environmental Health, what's next to reopen schools, and again, consultation in consultation with the Department of Education. But know that the Leon Guerrero Tenor administration is very supportive of our schools, our students, and the reopening of schools, especially after the, the, the catastrophic Typhoon Mawar. The governor's communications director instead focused on her response around the recovery efforts at the schools. What's happening island-wide right now is the National Guard, under Governor Leon Guerrero's direction, they're doing the, sc the school cleanups, the debris cleanups, ensuring that our campuses are safe from the fallen trees and any other debris that may pose a danger to our students. So that's ongoing. While the cleanup is ongoing, it's clear local prosecutors are moving forward with cleaning up the alleged government corruption happening government-wide. Even with the indictment, the governor is keeping all facing criminal charges at work and on the job. Julian Hernandez, KUAM News.